Hi there, so today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi range extender. So this particular one is by a company called Rockspace. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. A couple of things worth mentioning about this device. It supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi. Supports speeds up to 1,200 megabits per second and has an ethernet port built in. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes in a small box, picture of the device there. AC 1200 dual band Wi-Fi repeater, works with any Wi-Fi router and easy setup on there. Coming around here, some branding. Coming around the back shows an example of usage. So a property here, three floors, wireless router over here and the range extender here. And it's sort of given the indication, the fact that the range extender has to be in a reasonable range of your existing wireless router. Coming around the side here, more branding and some details here at the back. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them. So you get a quick installation guide. Opening up the guide, it shows there's two methods of installing this. So first one is extending your Wi-Fi network using web UI and the second method down here, extending your Wi-Fi using WPS. On the back, you've got an FAQ and all details on both sides are in English. Next, we have the range extender. So the depth of this is 4.6 centimeters. Height is eight centimeters. Width is 5.7. And if you take the aerials into account, the Wi-Fi antenna, so that'll be 7.3 centimeters. So nice and compact. You can see their branding there coming in close. You can see signal, WPS, power, and there's a WPS button there. Now the antenna can be moved upwards like so. Looking at the top here, you can see Wi-Fi network name, Rockspace EXT. Now in terms of design, there's a slight wave on there. Looks pretty cool. And the actual finish on this is all matte black. Coming around here, you've got vents. No vents on this side, some vents on this side. Coming around the bottom, you can see there's a reset point there, ethernet point there. And coming around the back, you've got some details underneath here. And this plug on here is for the US. So to test this out, I'll have to use a travel adapter. In terms of build quality, the case itself is very good, nice and strong plastic, and the aerials are quite strong as well. Let's make a start at setting up this device. So I've got a power strip here with a travel adapter plugged in. That'll enable me to test this out. So if I now plug this in, turn the switch on at the side, you'll notice the power indicator will come on and start flashing in a moment. And now once it stops flashing, that actually indicates that the repeater has started. Okay, so the device has initialized now. So if I go to my Android device, drop this down, go to my Wi-Fi, and there you go. That's the one we want to connect to so this is the rock space external okay so it's saying connected without internet so that's fine so now if we come back start up a web browser now this is what we need to type in so re.rockspace.local and this is what we're presented with so we need to give the device a password so I recommend doing this you don't have to but it's best to do it so let me enter in a password off camera I've entered in a password let's click next and now it's going to scan for Wi-Fi networks Got my test one at the top, so let me select that. And now I need to type in a Wi-Fi password, so let me do that off camera. I've entered my Wi-Fi password. If we just look below that, it says the extended Wi-Fi network SSID. That's the ID of it. And it says the password of the extended network is the same as your existing Wi-Fi network. So the one it's connecting to, that password you've typed in, will apply for this new one too. So let's click extend. Extending successfully, it's given the two SSIDs. So the 2.4 gigahertz one is at the top and the five gigahertz one is at the bottom. A couple of things to note here. So it says, move the repeater halfway between your Wi-Fi router and the Wi-Fi dead zone. The position must be within the range of your existing Wi-Fi network. Two, use the signal LED color to help you relocate the router. If it's blue, you're in a proper position. Red, move the repeater closer to the Wi-Fi router. And if it's off, move the repeater closer to the Wi-Fi router. Just a few things to note as you're gonna use this. And now if we go to a web page and I type in speed test, we can run a quick speed test on this. So at the moment, the device is connected to the 5G Wi-Fi network. So let's go over to the 2.4G network. So there you go, that's connected now. 
So if I now go back and we run a speed test, there you go. There are the speeds for download and upload on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Let's now flip over to the five gigahertz network and we can click test again. So there you go, they're the results for downloading and uploading on the five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So working well on both. And as you saw, really simple to set up. Didn't take more than a few moments. So not complex in any way. Next, let's reset the device. So if I now get my pen, plug it in there, just watch the top, it's, lights have gone out, we'll let go. There you go, it's flashed up once and it's flashing away now. So it's reset and it's trying to start up the system now. So let's give it a moment to get set up. Now the lights are solid blue. We can actually go over to our router. So on here, we've got a WPS button just over here. If I press that for a moment, and now we need to go back to the extender and press the WPS button. And just to note, my one's glowing, indicating it's waiting for a connection. Now, if I press the WPS button, flashing away. Okay, so I've attempted to connect via WPS, but it hasn't worked. So I've tried it on both my Netgear Orbi router, and I've also tried it directly from my router as well. So they both have WPS buttons, so it didn't work. But not the end of the world. Obviously, there are two methods, whichever works best for yourself. So personally, I tried the WPS option first because that's obviously the quickest one where you just hit a button on your router press the button here if it doesn't work then just go via the web ui which i've already proved works seamlessly next let's test out the ethernet port on the wi-fi extender so i've got a cable here plug one end into the extender and the other end into my laptop and you can see at the moment it doesn't have internet connectivity and once i've plugged it in give it a second and there you go the icons indicating now that it has access to the internet. And if I go to a web browser, let's go to speed test and run a speed test. And there you go. We're getting good speed here only because my actual router is not too far away from the extender. So there you go. Excellent. So as simple as that to get set up and running with this Wi-Fi extender. So you've seen it can be done via the UI. You can try using WPS. It didn't work for me, but there's no harm trying in your particular situation. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this dual band Wi-Fi repeater from Rockspace. Very simple to set up and configure. And I love the fact it has an ethernet port on there as well. So you can get a wired connection to your device if you wanted. Obviously speeds on this are dependent on the distance you've got it from your router. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.